Hi, we are now with Eric Nelson, director of the Outdoor Classroom Project. How are you doing, Eric? Doing great. Nice to be with you today. Good to have you in our show. <laughs> A very interesting project and well needed here in our area. So let's just start this interview by asking you, what exactly is the Outdoor Project? Well, the Outdoor Classroom Project is designed to serve children birth through five in child care centers here in Santa Barbara County. And the goal of the project is to increase the quantity, the quality, and the benefit of outdoor experience for those children in those child care programs. The programs of early child care tend to focus on the indoors. And this has been a tradition of this field for the hundred years that it's been a field in the United States. And we have a variety of issues facing children today, among them childhood obesity, that we're trying to address by encouraging these programs to get children outdoors more frequently and to get them engaged in activities that are really going to benefit them. Great. Now let's talk about the benefits of learning outside instead of inside the regular classroom. What can they expect? Well, there's a couple of things that we say. One is, is that everything that you can do indoors, you can do outdoors. Some things you can only do outdoors and can't do indoors. So we're really trying to get teachers to think about the outdoors as a classroom just like they think of the indoors. Why? Because outdoors children have a lot more freedom and flexibility to take initiative to develop their own learning approach and style. So it becomes a more individualized educational approach. This really balances the other type of education, which is kind of a one-size-fits-all. So children really develop their own unique skills more effectively when they're outdoors and have more freedom of movement and more freedom of action. What can you expect from teachers? Because obviously they are used to, let's say, the old method of mm -hmm. teaching inside. Mm -hmm. It might be a challenge for them to move to the outdoors. What would you recommend? Are there any trainings for them? Well, in fact, um, and I say this with uh, great affection and tremendous respect for teachers, teachers are generally tend to be the biggest impediment to getting children outdoors. And children usually want to go outdoors, but teachers tend to have a lot of concerns about being outdoors. So part of the reason for the Outdoor Classroom Project is to provide teacher training to really assist them in learning how to be outdoors, be effective with children, uh, develop skills that they can use with children in terms of the way that children learn outdoors and the way that teachers can teach outdoors, which is, a, is really a different style from working indoors. Great. Now, another maybe concern that some day care providers or teachers might have is safety, which I think maybe you covered that mm -hmm. during the training, mm -hmm. because being inside a room that you know, you feel comfortable, you feel sometimes safe. And so how do you take that same safe environment outdoors? Well, actually, what creates a safety outdoors is developing skill. In order for that to happen, the children have to be able to be outdoors. And in our programs of early care and education, they're under wonderful supervision with teachers. So really, if you want children to be safe outdoors, you need to put them outdoors under environments which are really well supervised so that they can develop those skills and be safe. In these yards, they're licensed. The teachers are trained how to set up the environment so that they'll work effectively. But we want to make sure that those yards have some challenge to them and so there is an element of risk and yet what we found is, is that when we create that risk really we have fewer accidents because the children are learning to do something new they're naturally very careful they're very cautious and they build up their capacity to be able to deal with that new environment talking about environments what can we do to have better buildings that encourage the outdoor? Well, that's a wonderful question because um, 
Sadly, we keep building childcare centers and outdoor environments that are not what they need to be to really benefit children. And part of what this project is trying to do is to teach teachers some good design concepts so that when they're involved in building and construction projects, that they will be hopefully allowed to give some input and help to actually guide the architect and the landscape architect in the design and then of course in the construction of the facility. But what we've really focused on is developing demonstration sites. What we need to do is to renovate existing yards and build really high quality new yards that people can actually go and see that work. And they say, oh gosh, we can actually put in grass and dirt and water and trees and plants instead of rubber and plastic and concrete. And once people start seeing these examples, they don't want the other. <laughs> they, they, want, they want something that's better than that. And so I think the way we move the, the, the design forward is simply by creating some good projects. Kate, can you illustrate one of those here in our area? I think that the uh, Cathedral Oaks site is really a wonderful site to take a look at as a designated outdoor classroom site, uh, one in which we've done a little bit of work and quite wonderfully the children decided to build a dry creek bed. They had a water uh, leak and the teacher suggested the children could divert the water to a little pond, which the children did, and then they said, oh, let's build a creek. So they built a 90-foot long <laughs> creek. And it's a really great example of children being able to take control of their environment and really add to the quality of their yard. So that would be a great example. How can other daycare providers or schools participate? Do they need to contact you? Or? Yes, they can go to the Orphala uh, Fund website. Um, they can go to our website, which is ceconline.org, uh, down in Los Angeles, and there's information about how to reach us there. Eric, thank you so much for this program. Best for you and to the Outdoor Classroom Project. Thank you so much. For more information on the Nonprofit Spotlight, check our website at www.spchannels.tv.